Good morning. Welcome to another Kiss Off tutorial. I'm Ty Warner. I want to talk about creating your own tool database today <clears throat> and how easy you can do that. Um, it's not as hard as it seems. Uh, it does take a little bit of effort on your part, but it's a uh, it's not that bad. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to open Kissoft as and run it as the administrator. And I've already done this. You're going to open a new file for cylindrical gear pair. And I want you to pay attention here to the reference profile. If we want to look at a hobbing cutter, we would select this hobbing cutter from the drop down in the tool selection. And then we'd have these different data sources. Own input. You can enter your own information there. You have different uh, cutter database. This example, DIN 39724. These are all the tools that are entered. All right, that's the database. <clears throat> now, what we want to do is we're going to we have to first create a template to enter our tool data. And the way we do this is like like so. We we open up Kissoft. Uh, we've got Kissoft. We open up a Microsoft Excel file. Let me grab a new one. And then what we're going to do is we're going to import or we're going to read an existing database file. Okay? So we go to open. Um, and your computer, it should be on the C drive. Program files x86, KISSOFT 03 2017 or 16, depending on where you're at. And you go to this data file. So here's a program path name. And we're not going to open an Excel file. We're going to read in a data file. So just go ahead and change this to all files. And then we want to go down to find Z000. Um, and you can grab BP, cutter 1, 2, 3, DIN. I'm going to grab this BP database right here. And I'm going to open it. Now, I want to do fixed width because I want fed uh, fields lined with columns and spaces between each field, right? You can say it has headers. doesn't really matter. Now, next, what we're going to do is we are going to – I wish I could make the screen a little bit bigger, but what we're going to do is get rid of some of these break lines in here that we don't want, and we're going to create some where we do want them. So I don't want this break line here. I double-click on it. I don't want this one. I don't want these two, but I do want to put one here between this uh, straight bracket. So I see what I did there. I did, I've created one in between the space bracket right here. And I have another one right here. And I got another one right there. So all you do is click a, a left mouse and it creates one. Double click and it gets rid of it. Single click puts a new one in. <clears throat> I'm going to do this all the way across here. Now there's there's good and bad. Good point is here I can enter the you know, get these columns lined up. Bad thing is on the top line, I'm going to have to do some, a little bit of cleaning up. But you can see I just work across here. That one looks good. This one looks good. I say next. Uh, I'm going to leave the general format in this column, which is fine. I say finish. Now you can see what I have here is I have all this data, but everything has got a column here. So if I bring this column over, this column over. I don't need these notes. So I'm going to delete those rows. Delete this. Now I can go through and this, this should be alpha. This should be another uh, straight parenthesis. So I just click that. So what happens, I've chopped these up a little bit. <clears throat> I don't need that one here. 
and so forth and across, and this is what we do. We're making a template. This should be this. Oh, that. We don't need these. And these are all in metric. Okay, you're going to have to convert everything to metric. So that's why I did it this way. When you're done, your template is going to look something like this. Fixed width. Back. Cancel. Sample database. There we go. <clears throat> this is what it's going to look like. All your straight parentheses are going to line up in these columns all the way across. <coughs> so now I've added this KISS off profile 1 by 1.25. And if I want to add more, I can simply copy this and you know insert a bunch more. And I can give them all each a name. I can change the module. If I have a spreadsheet with 100 of these, I can go get the, the module for these 100 and enter it in. All right. Now we're about populating this. Now, once we have this populated, what we're going to do, and we have, this is the format that we need, what we're going to do is we're going to save this as... A Unicode text. All right. So we hit save as Unicode text. We save this. And what you'll end up with is a Unicode. This is my sample database. This is my Unicode text file. Note that these columns don't all line up exactly where we want them. That's fine. They line up in the, Excel, in the Excel spreadsheet so the columns are correct. If you are interested in doing something like that, I would just click here, and you can space over until they line up the way you want. You can do it for all of them back here. This one here, you space back. Uh, this one here, you'd also space back, and so forth and so on across. You don't have to, but you can. Then we do a file, save as change this to all files and then we just put a dot dat and now it sa saves this database file okay our database file now we call it a sample database if we open that looks just like what we just did all right and because I've already added it in kissoft All right. What we would do then to add this, we'd say yes with right authorization. And in this case, we're doing hobbing gear, so we do selection of hobbing cutters, enter, and grab this and say plus to add a row. And we call it a sample database. And then right here, we're going to filter to that data that DAT file we just created. So in this case, we're, uh, let's see, I put that here, right there. We click that, we open it. We say OK, and we save. Close. Now we're not editing anything. We'll close again. Close. Now if I look at my data source, I have a sample database. And I can restrict using module and pressure angle, or I can leave that open. And now I can choose from either of these data tools that I put in here. And it automatically populates it. The tooth thickness factor you're going to have to enter on your own if you have different tooth factors for each database. Um,
Let me grab this one. This is calculated by the standard. You change this over to lengths. You have to enter the number of teeth for your cutter, that sort of thing. <clears throat> but this is how you would create your own database. So hopefully you're, uh, you get something out of this. At some point you'll have to change this to thickness factor reference line potentially. If we grab the different one, but now we've got um, a sample database that we can use. So, and then once you have this, you can change this over to own input. And now you can turn this on and off, but you've got your regular cutter and you can specify your tooth thickness factor. So that's how you would uh, create your own database and populate it in the reference profile for KISSOFT. If you have any questions, feel, feel, feel free to contact me at ty.warner at kisssoft.ag. Thanks for watching.